Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I am going to be summoning on the Legend of Cold Steel banner to try to get Rin. And I do have 200 summons on hand, so let's just begin. So the first 10 summon, nothing. TF summon. And it also looks like nothing. Thirty summons and no SSR yet. Forty. So nothing yet. Next is 50. Nothing. summons and nothing. Seventy summons and no SSR. Eighty summons and no SSR. Oh, well, there we go. So ninety summons and I got my first SSR. And let's see what it is. So far, another rare, another rare. Emmerich for the SR. And I got ring. And at this point, I feel like I'm done. Because I have no real interest in getting Ariane Rod. That's not to say Ariane Rod is not good, but more that I don't have any... I don't think I can farm her up. It's not that Ariane Rod is not good. It's that I can't afford to farm her up even if I get her. So... I think that's it. Yeah. One of the two heroes, and that's all I really wanted to get. So this is the final result for me on the Reen and Arian Rod banner, where I did 90 summons and I picked up Reen only. Yeah. Um, from, I guess, the summoning, we can see that there were three people who got Arian Rod before I picked up Reen. It is what it is, more, mostly expected. And so in terms of banner results so far, my SSR rate in total is currently at 2.16%. I've done 4,404 draws, and there were 95 SSRs in total. The off-banner rate is at 18% at this time, so I guess the average for this might actually be 20%, but I currently have an 18% off-banner rate. Since 2019 of... sorry, since September of 2019. And I've changed the coloring a bit of my banners in terms of uh, 
coloring them, where red means I had a very bad banner, green means a good banner, and yellow means an average banner. Right? I would say overall for the Reen Ariane Rod banner just now, this is very much average because it did take me 90 summons to get a single character. But since it's a character that I wanted, it's acceptable. And finally, I should also go over the upcoming banners and what's coming up for the rest of this month. It's what's coming up in the next four weeks that is having me stop on this Green and Ariane Broad banner at this time. But keep in mind that I do have two weeks to draw on this banner. So depending on the situation, I might come back to the Green and Ariane Rod banner to try to get Ariane Rod. First, next week, has Yulia and Maya. So Yulia, nothing needs to be said about her because she's been in existence for so long. But Maya, this is the second time she's appearing in the banner, the last time being the Ares Maya banner. And Maya is necessary for unlocking Ares' defense bond. So if you want to completely finish your Ares, you're going to need to get Maya. In addition to the banner, there is going to be the start of the Trails of Cold Steel event next week. And in that event, you can get Altina shards, you can get the Aeneas skin for High Elves, and the Almeda and Juggler plushie skins. The following week, which would be September 10th, Rainforce, Zerda, and Gizaroth banner, which is a Destiny Summon banner, it becomes available. Once again, the skins for the soldiers should all be released that week. It might be released next week, not quite sure there, but the skins for the soldiers would be the Aeneas skin for the High Elves, which is free from the Trails of Cold Steel event. There's going to be the Duvali skin for the Heavy Infantry, and then the Inne skin for Amazon Champions. In addition to that, there is also going to be the Equipment Banner. So we can see that there's four pieces of equipment on this banner, and let's go into these four pieces in greater detail. As with all equipment banners, there's going to be a weapon, armor, helmet, and accessory. And the weapon is a genius staff, which is meant for mages, holy, and demon characters. It provides 5% hit point increase, and when your character is standing on non-defensive terrain and using a range skill that has a melee penalty, your unit range is increased by one. So it's an interesting weapon that can allow your characters to attack at 3 range rather than 2, allowing you to, let's say, evade the counterattack of Landius completely. However, the drawback of this weapon is it provides no intelligence increase whatsoever. So you get increased range, but at the cost of not having any increased damage. The Vanguard Plate Mail is meant for infantry, lancer, and cavalry characters. It provides a defense increase of 10%, and it reduces fixed damage taken by 10%. Nothing special there. No. Uh, not worth, honestly, not worth building in my opinion. Aeolus' battle armor and the bloodline magic armor, in my opinion, would probably be better in almost all cases. The third item is the Frostfire Crown, which is also for mages, holy, and demon class characters. It provides the usual 10% defense, sorry, 10% magic defense increase, and when attacking and entering battle, your damage taken is reduced by 10%. So this crown can provide extra survivability to your characters against getting attacked. Whether that 10% damage taken reduction can keep your character alive would be the interesting question here. And the other the big flaw of this Frostfire Crown, however, is that you're highly unlikely to want to take this over a Tenyo's headdress. Last but not least is the accessory, the Conspirator's Pendant. This one is probably the best item of this equipment banner, along with the Genius Staff. So the Conspirator's Pendant provides 75 attack and 37 skill. So this is the only SSR piece of gear that provides a skill increase. It provides all stats plus 5%, and when entering battle, crit chance is increased by 5%. Put simply, this accessory is a must-have for Omega, and it can work pretty well for Assassins. But otherwise, you won't particularly need it. Omega users though 100% want to draw for the Conspirator's Pendant, especially if you're an Omega user for PvP purposes. So this banner for me, as an Omega user, is a must-draw banner. And finally, 
let's move on to talk about the next two banners after that. So September 17th will be a Destiny Summon banner with Rachel, Lana, and Tiaris. So at the same time, there will be the Omega Macho Lotto, and presumably that will be when Apex Season 5 begins. So with Apex Season 5, there's going to be a Royal Calvary skin and Angelica skin for at the silver and gold level, respectively. So, and last but not least, presumably that will be when we also get the Listel Season 4 skin, which I'm definitely going to buy as well. And finally, for September 24th, that will be the new major update. And the new major update will have two new heroes, Rosalia and Noemi. So along with that new banner for new heroes, there's going to be apparently an 18th Gate of Fate event. So not sure if that one's going to be running for one week or two weeks. There's going to be Fair Arena, which runs for one week. There's going to be new major story chapters. And the three Cs that are going to be released for that major update will be Rosalia, Noemi, Ultimuller, Togo Brothers, and Almeda. Finally, exclusives that will be added will be Betty and Sophia. So for me personally, it's really the equipment banner in particular that will require me to summon on it. And that's why I want to save as many vouchers as possible, which is why I am currently skipping Ariane Rod. And that's everything I want to say in this video. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you found this video useful to you. And on that note, Nitro out.